All right, guys. As we're getting into the joys of coronavirus here, and our local area is pretty much said stay at home. So I'm, you know, behaving. Had a few boxes in storage, so we're going to start popping those open now. Uh, our first box that we're going to go through is a 95 Upper Deck Motorsports. Little vintage uh, box, picked up for $15, as you can see, at my local card shop, once again. As always, I love supporting local card shops, just because, you know, better than buying online, keeps your money local, and, not on, and it gives you a better option, you know, you don't have to wait on shipping, and, you know, the potential of damage through shipping, and so on and so forth. So if you've got a local card shop, I do encourage you to support them, especially with all this mess going around. Uh, according to this box, it is 32 packs per box, 7 cards per pack. I'm hoping that unlike these 90s cards, that they're not so stuck together that they're going to be, you know, rip them apart here. Because, you know, a lot of times that premium glossy stuff from the 90s, if you've ever opened the packs, you kind of know... <laughs> that it gets a little bit rough there so all right but let's get into this see what we can find here see if we can't find this says a lot of die cuts you know i think uh, i said i know very little about this set honestly but I said i figured 15 dollars would be something fun to open see what we can find ah okay it's this set Gotcha. Our first die cut is going to be a Daryl Waltrip. Nice little die cut there. We'll follow that up with a Cup Contenders here. Not sure if that's an insert, but it is super low numbered on the back as far as card number goes. All right, we got LaJoy. Rusty Wallace flipped around backwards. I would assume that's a red parallel there, considering everything else has been black so far. Awesome. John Andretti. We got Brett Bodine. And Robert Yates. This will have a lot of those vintage racers from, you know, the 90s racers, the Earnhardts, the Bonnies, the Jarrett's, the Gordon should be in here. We have a Leonard Wood die cut. Cup Contenders, Bill Elliott. Not sure if that red is a parallel or if it's just a base card now, because it may just be the cars themselves. I'm seeing multiples of those. Oh, we'll find out here. I said a lot of this got a die cut cut contenders there. And a base cup cup contenders. I'm guessing that, that may actually be the low number base, like maybe a couple of subsets within the main set itself, because I'm not seeing any low numbers to go along with it there. Super premium cards. I mean, these things are high gloss, and shockingly enough, this box is not sticking together like a lot of the uh, stuff from that era. I don't know if it's because they uh, alternated the flipping of the cards here. Because, I mean, they are in here every which way you can name. Upside down, left, right. And Kelly Yarborough. <laughs> Looks like, if I'm reading the side of the box up there correctly, we're looking for Speed Merchants as the uh, insert set, and the die cuts are the super rare ones that are like one per every three boxes or so. So Speed Merchants, there's another die cut, Bill Elliott car. Yeah, I'm seeing more and more of these cup contenders, I'm thinking they're just the base set, not a parallel, unfortunately, or an insert. Oh, we have something super holographic there. 
Gotta love early 90s. That is a Speed Burgeons, like you were saying a second ago. That is Davy Jones, which is a racer that I have never heard of. And I actually watched NASCAR through this period a little bit, so I was not expecting um, super holographic there, but apparently that is what our Speed Merchants inserts will look like, so we'll keep an eye out for those as we go through. Got contenders, uh, Steve Grissom. There's your Jeff Gordon. Young, young Jeff Gordon. <laughs> Overall, I actually kind of like this set. Nice Richard Petty there. Some very nice cars. Absolutely no stick to them, which is beyond amazing. Because <laughs> if you've ever opened a box like Stadium Club from this era, I mean, those things stick together like there is no tomorrow. Another Jeff Burton. Looks like we will have some duplicates in this set. Because uh, I think I've seen that Bill Elliott car a couple of times already. Um, that being said, if you check the description below, when we get down to it, uh, when I get the set sorted out, I will uh, post down in the description below what we ended up with as far as inserts, parallels, um, set completion, stuff like that. Just so you can get a feel for, hey, if you open a box of this, what are you realistically going to get? Because I know with an... 90 set like this, it's going to be tough to come back and build this set. I mean, there's not a lot of people out there dealing in mid-90s commons, especially for NASCAR. Um, so, There's the Bill Elliott car yet again. I think that's about the third one of those we've gotten in this. So, I don't know how big of a base set this is. Uh, number 1 through 150, so it's a 150 card set to go along with this. Another die cut. It's going to be Steve Grissom. Very nice. Good contenders, I believe we've seen that one before. Trying to get some focus here, wow. This thing does not want to focus today on these cards. Ooh wee. There we go. Steve Grissom. Looks like another potential insert here. Randy LaJoy. I see some logo here. Let's see here. Premier Premier Prospects. It's number 119, so I'm guessing that may just be like a rookie card of some sort. It's the first one of those we've seen in this pack, so we'll keep an eye in these packs. So we'll keep an eye out for those, see if we see any more. Not 100% sure who the prospects and rookies would have been in this NASCAR set, just because it is 1995. So, uh, there we go. Hut Strickland, another die cut. These are really nice cards, really high quality. Mark Martin. Oh, looks like we've got another one of the. Uh, Speed Merchants cards coming up here. I know those things are near impossible to see on this camera just because it's holographic. I think we got a decent picture there. That's going to be Morgan Shepard. Another cool one to pull. We should pull about six of those in this box if the stated odds are correct on it. One of the downsides to the 90 sets like this, there's your die cut, Michael Waltrip, is that a lot of them don't have a ton of inserts or parallels or anything like that that you'd see in newer sets. They were more base oriented, set builder geared. Uh, like I said, this was, this was a particular set that um, when I looked online, I didn't see a lot of these out there. So I figured this might have been a set that either wasn't opened as much or just wasn't, you know, chased after as much at the time. Uh, Morgan Shepard die cut there. Looks like we got Andretti. 
So the only thing I've really hated about this pack so, these packs so far is the just crazy amount of upside down, backwards. But I'm guessing that they did that because they figured that it would, you know, stick together. Maybe they realized it by this point that it was happening and tried to do something different. Got Premier Prospects there, Ricky Craven, Jeff Gordon Carr, and Joe Gibbs. All right, and let's keep opening here. Now, if you've seen any of my breaks before, you know that um, if I'm not collecting the set, um, all of my duplicates end up, it, all of my cards end up on a site called Sports Lots. Sport Lots, excuse me, I always put an S on that. And they will be available for purchase uh, through my store. You can find my link in the description below to my store. And if you feel like it, there's anything you see in this set that you would like. I've got other sets as well. Uh, more than just is on my videos, it's some of my PC cards as well. Uh, check out my store. You know, everything that goes into that store goes to buying new product, new boxes, new cards, whatever. And so it gives me more stuff that I can open up for y'all. Open up new boxes in the future and, you know, show y'all what's inside of a box. So you can see before you make a purchase what you might be getting out of a box. And we got another speed merchant here. And that's going to be Randy LaJoy. Some of those early 90s holographics cards. I mean, now you never see those anymore, but I always loved those things growing up. I mean, those are some of the coolest cards. Um, actually, just the other day, I had a pack of... Uh, that had a few of those in it that I ended up giving to a uh, friend's six-year-old, uh, or six-year-old, six uh, sixth grader, excuse me. And that was some of their favorite cards out of that pack, sure enough, was those super holographic, you know, oh man, it changes colors, you know, packs, cards like that. Just because, you know, they're so, they're so different, they're not, you know... Oh, hey, you took a photo, you put it on a, on a card. Hey, how cool. You know, it was something different, something awesome that you could collect back in the day. It's like a die cut there. So, I, I really do miss those. Those things are... It's awesome to actually be able to pull those out of some packs. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Another Premier Prospect. Uh, I believe that's Davy Jones. Yep, because we've... Pulled him a couple of times now, I think, elsewhere in the set. And Jack Roush. All right. And our die cut for that is Jeff Purvis, I believe. Yep. And some of these names I haven't heard in years. I mean, some of these Rusty Wallaces, you know, even... Dick Trickle, Kyle Petty, you know, you, you hear some of those names. But these one-off guys that raced for one or two years and then disappeared, you know, those guys are the ones you just look at and go, who is that? I don't remember them racing. Now, if you're watching this, obviously you probably have some interest in NASCAR or you've, you know, watched, you know, NASCAR at some point in your life, so... In the comments below, I just ask, hey, comment back with your favorite driver. Um, I know mine personally was uh, Bobby Labonte back in the day. Um, the story there goes, uh, looks like Randy LaJoy prospect there. The story there goes is I was watching NASCAR with my grandparents, and the green interstate batteries car, for those of you who watched in the 90s, uh, came across the screen, and green was my favorite color at the time. Jeff Gordon die cut. Very nice. And, you know, favorite color, hey, there's going to be my favorite driver. And sure enough, it turned out to be a fairly good pick. He won a championship back in 2000, I believe. Ricky Craven prospect. So, I mean, it gave me a lot of years of just, you know, watching NASCAR, watching him, uh, race so like i said if you get time comment in the just comment below let me know your favorite driver start up a discussion you know 
unfortunately, you know, since a lot of us are kind of cooped up inside right now, you know, staying social distancing and all this, uh, Robert Presley Prospect, another speed merchant, that's Andretti. I actually recognize that face right off, so that's pretty nice. You know, since a lot of us are stuck inside right now, start a conversation, you know, let's, let's chat it up a little bit because, you know, obviously... You know, not many of us are used to being inside, stuck in our house for 14 days or more straight. So, <laughs> by all means, start that discussion and, you know, talk about car collecting, talk about racing. Just keep it light, you know, keep it friendly. Jeff Gordon. All right. And looks like we've got about eight or nine more packs here. It's a pretty big... Uh, Thing of packs here. I didn't realize the 32 packs when I got this box. Bill Elliott die cut. Another Kyle Petty. Uh, Sterling Marlin. A couple more cars coming through. Chad Little. Mm -mm -mm. Overall, top to bottom, you know, it's a fairly nice set. Um, definitely, has got it. Kind of reminds me of Stadium Club back in the day. I know SP was a thing back in the day, but unfortunately, SP doesn't really do much anymore as far as cards go. There's Bobby Labonte. There's my favorite driver from back in the day. Uh, let's see here. Chad Little. Steve Grissom and Ricky Rudd. All right. We're gonna keep going with the die cuts here. We got Rusty Wallace. We got a Dale Jarrett. Some of these guys look so young from what I remember, you know, cause watching up into the 2000s when some of these guys retired. Another Bobby Labonte. You know, you get used to the gray hair, the, you know, 40, 45-year-old Richard Petty. You know, you get used to some of these old, some of these guys looking so much older that you go back and see the Jeff Gordons and the Bobby Labonis and stuff like that from the early to mid-90s when they're 20-something rookies coming up. And some of these guys look so young that you're just like, what in the world? I'm losing my focus there again. There we go, Rick Mast. Musgrove. Uh, Rusty Wallace. We got Bill Elliott, Ricky Rudd, and Junior Johnson. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow. Goodness. So the nice thing about this is 32 packs, seven cards per pack. You're looking at about 214 cards on this one. There's not a lot of inserts, so I'm assuming that you are going to get a near complete set, if not an entire complete set out of this. Probably going to have some duplicates coming through here. Um, I said this will not be a set that I end up building as far as to keep. Um, I may keep the Bobby Labonte, you know, favorite driver there. But beyond that, you know, all these will end up on my Sport Lot store. So go check it out. Uh, we got Lowe's from back in the day. Todd, is that? Ah, that's Brett Bodine. Sorry, I lose track of the Bodines because there were always there's Jeff Brett and Todd. So, <laughs> oh man, the Lowe's car back before <laughs> Jimmy Johnson took that car over and took it to a whole load of championships. There's die cut. Mayfield. Just kind of nice getting one die cut per pack. Makes it kind of a something to look forward to in each pack there. Something to kind of something to kind of build there. Nice little parallel set you can build. Uh, Mayfield again. Mayfield again. Looks like they put the car right next to the driver. And Jeff Bodine. I cut there. Brett Bodine. Got our 
cars here. So, crew members. Nice to see some of those guys that, you know, they don't put them in every NASCAR set. I mean, they did them a lot more back in the 90s where they focus on, like, crew chiefs and the owners. Nowadays, you only see, you know, some of the some of the newer, some of the uh, more popular ones. There's Daryl Waltrip die cut. Ken Schrader. Another nice Jeff Gordon there. Don't remember seeing that one yet. Maybe a different one. And Bill Elliott. Is that a team owner? Did not realize Bill Elliott was a team owner back in the 90s. He was a driver, knew he was one of the uh, most popular drivers of the time. Did not realize he was an owner that, that far back. Hmm. Crew member, uh, that would be Jimmy Finning. Ricky Rudd. Oh. That's the first one that I've actually seen that actually stuck together, but it was a very light stick. So I don't know if that was just, you know, bad luck on that one card, but so far I haven't had many stick in this pack, so they all should be pretty good condition, actually. Mike Wallace. Got Terry Labonte. And Bill Engle. Two more packs left, guys. Thanks for holding out this long. I know this is kind of a long break for us because it's a 32-pack box, but so far it's been a pretty nice break. There's your Ken Schrader die cut. Where Burton looks like we're going to get one more speed merchant in here, so that'll be nice. Dale Jarrett. Michael Waltrip. And that's going to be Ricky Craven, I believe. Yep. Actually shocked that the camera can pick up that good of a picture on these things, but hey, I'm not going to argue. Darrell Waltrip. Looks like another team owner. Yep. And our last pack. I'm a little surprised. I have not seen a Dale Earnhardt anywhere in this set. I don't know if this is, if Upper Deck or SP didn't have a contract with them. Um... Or what, but I have not seen a base card or anything of Dale Earnhardt in this. Maybe it's just bad luck. Maybe I just haven't pulled it. But let's see here. John Andretti. I got a Jeff Gordon Cup Contenders. Derek Cope. We got the Wall Trip car. Presley car. We got the team owner here. Kelly Arborough. And Paul Andrews to end it. All right, guys. So that's our box, 32 packs. And as always, I'll put the uh, details of as far as what we built on the set in the description below when I upload the video. All right, guys. Thank you, and y'all have a great day.